Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology and in today's video we are going to be doing our weekly predictions for our Pisces Sun Moon and Rising signs for the week of October 30th through November 5th so let's go ahead and get right into this reading this one is with our Pisces Sun Moon and Rising signs for the week of October 30th through November 5th, we can expect what should they look out for? And what energy is surrounding them? Right, quick disclaimer for a lot of you guys, this energy may be happening in chronological order throughout the week. For other you guys, this energy may be happening sporadically throughout the week, so just take what resonates with you guys. We have the tower card here. We have the Four of Wands in reverse. What else is going on with our Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs? Okay. Got the hanged man and the four of swords. Okay. Can I get three more cards from Pisces? We got the seven of cups in reverse. Love to see that. Love to see it. Okay. Got the Ace of Pentacles coming through. The Ace of Swords is in reverse, paired with the Four of Pentacles. All right. Back of deck energy is the High Priestess. Ooh, I love that for you guys. Okay, so with this High Priestess energy, Pisces, what I want you guys to be mindful of is this is your overall energy for the week. It's being highly in intuitive okay this is the week where you're not wanting to ignore your intuition you're wanting to make sure you're paying attention to your intuition you know everything that you're feeling in your gut everything everything that you're feeling in your gut okay things of that sort, things of the sort okay also something else um that you can expect with the high priestess energy is for you to be thinking about more things that bring you more balance that makes you feel um more level-headed okay things that are no longer stressing you out this is the high priestess energy this is a major arcana type energy so you want to pay attention to that we also have the tower card and the hanged man as well as two other major arcana cards that's here so let's go ahead and talk about this tower card okay so the tower card as you can see it's like lightning has struck the ground and actually made the ground rise above um the lower parts and what i connect with this energy for you guys pisces is that there's something that is going to be very transformative this week in the sense to where once it happens you may be thinking like, dang, what the heck? You know, like, why Why is this going on? Why is this transformation happening? What is causing me to feel like I'm going through destruction or I'm going through something that is just overbearing, you know, in a sense? Or it may have to do with finances or your career, something that you're trying to do better at. And you may be feeling like you're stagnant in this moment but actually this tower card and this tower moment is um a moment for you to pivot and 
a moment for you to, you know, stay the course, but, you know, find different ways um, to do things in your career, find different ways to, you know, make other streams of income. You know what I'm saying? Giving you different options. So the tower is the energy of transformation, breaking things down in order for you to be able to see them in bite sizes, see them clearly as to what you should be doing next. So that's what I feel like is a major thing is going to be coming through with the tower card that's in that right position. You also do have the four of wands that is in reversal position. So um, this energy may have something to do with, you know, a past lover or someone that you may have celebrated with, um, someone who is close to you. Um, you know, there may be people um, that claim okay that claims they're not watching you claim they're not peeping you claim they're not seeing whatever you got going on seeing what you're doing and things of the sort trying to act like they don't peep your celebration or your success you know things that you are doing good they could very well be a hater they could very well be very inspired by you but they may be um i ain't worried about what you got going on i'm not worried about what you gotta say you know, things like that, okay? And it's like, hold on, you know, we're not even paying you no attention type energy, so they say. But there's people seeing your success or seeing you level up or you may be feeling like you are not where you want to be or you're not as successful as you want to be and there's somebody spying on you know your social media or on your pages and they may be seeing you doing well and getting better and they will key hating you know like they low key and like wow like why things keep getting better for them why they keep going up in the up and up you know and, you know, this energy may be very overpowering to you because you being a water sign, you know, you're feeling all of the energies, even if you don't know exactly where that energy is coming from, you're feeling the negative energies and the negative vibes like shifting your way. But it's important for you to, like we were saying earlier, stay the course, stay focused, you know, keep following your intuition you know you're going to be led where you need to be led so with the hanged man energy and the four swords energy this is the energy where this week you're really going to be tested into really trusting yourself trusting your inner intuition trusting you know that drive and that power on the inside of you that beautiful light that shines inside of you it's time for you to start trusting yourself a little bit more and take that leap go the extra mile but also make sure you're prioritizing rest and self-care with this four of swords energy i can see where with this four of swords energy it's like your heart is outside of your body you're really tired and for some of you guys if it has to do with like very tight-knit relationships like best friends or you know somebody that you are in a romantic relationship with you know you may be detaching yourself from emotions and that's something that we do have to learn to do at some point is kind of detach ourselves from the emotions because love to a certain extent can make you lose out on your bag as well as can make you you know lose out on yourself you know so i do see an energy of you being detached from love in this moment and you know needing to have time to rest and recharge and make sure you are prioritizing that during this week all right, Pisces, you guys also have the Seven of Cups in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles, which I love this for you guys because the Seven of Cups in reverse is the energy of you not falling for other people's facades and other people's bullshit that they got going on. You know, people can say this and say that and then you're doing the extra research, you're following up, you're like, okay, you know what, let's see, let's see. This is what I got going on. This is the research that I came up with based off of what you told me. Um, and, you know, whatever someone's trying to tell you, trying to sell you a dream or tell you a lie, you know, you're going to do the research on the back end. And they didn't expect you to do that. You know, they didn't expect you to dive deep and do research and be like this. You know what? Maybe you didn't do the research and maybe you were a liar and, you know, you coming down to that conclusion that, okay, you know what, 
I don't need to be dealing with these type of people. And they're going to notice that you're going ghost. And then they're going to notice that you're getting even further in your bag now that you know the truth with this Ace of Pentacles energy. So I do see prosperity coming for you. I see you building up, building a foundation for yourself. And that's important. All right, so let's get into the Eight of Swords in reverse as well as the Four of Pentacles. So with the Ace of Swords being in reverse, um, like I was saying, you are needing some rest, especially with that Four of Swords energy. But with the Ace of Swords, that means some things are going to start to slow down a little bit. Like I was telling you guys, you may be feeling like things are stagnant. This is your time. This is your moment to get rest. This is your time to have time for self-care and stop going being on 10 every day you know and make sure you're prioritizing how you're nourishing your body and the outside of your body as well we have the four of pentacles here i do see you guys have you know some savings goals that you're going to be thinking about during this week and most of all during this week pisces i see your mind and your emotions are going to be everywhere i believe i got this same energy from our scorpio so i believe when I do the Cancer energy, it's probably going to be around the same with this water sign energy. Your emotions and your thoughts and everything is everywhere because you have so many goals. You have so many things that you want to do. You have financial goals, body goals, health goals, things of the sort. And you're working diligently towards those goals. And I do see some of you guys are trying to pay off like some debts, get everything squared away. And you're doing things on your own, if not having little to no help. So Pisces, I really do feel like this is the time where you just take your time, you know, don't rush, you know, don't rush and take your time, take a deep breath, start doing more scheduling and make sure you book a time or some time to yourself every day if not every day at least once a week in order for you to recharge all right so let's go ahead and get into the numerology card so we can see um what our pisces sun moon and rising sign should mainly be focusing on during this week yeah, pisces so we do have perseverance coming through with a number four perseverance continue to try continue to put forth the effort the effort but don't you know break yourself down we do have number 66 healing this also could be the energy of the four of swords coming through saying that you're needing to heal from something traumatic you're needing to let go of something you're needing to trust yourself there may be some things in your past that may have happened uh, with the hangman energy that made you feel like you couldn't trust yourself and now you give yourself this self doubt this self self doubt energy you guys we have number 32 which is music okay so rocking out to some music even if it's slow vibes some meditation music and grounding yourself some gospel Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the Moonology card so we can see what energies are surrounding our Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs during the week. All right, what energies are surrounding our Pisces? Okay, so, okay. So we've got some extra confirmation. So the first card to come out was the, answer, the answers you need are coming with the full moon in Gemini. So... Any questions that you've been having, anything that you've been needing to hear, um, anything that you have been trying to manifest, it may come full circle during this week and giving you answers through other people. We have a time for healing with the balsamic moon. So like I was saying, this is a great time for you to get rest, start healing from things that may have traumatized you. And I'm not saying that during next week you're going to 100% heal. It's a start and it's a stepping stone to being able to heal yourself from some things. You do have a fiery climax approaches with the full moon in Aries, as well as communication is key with the new moon in Gemini. All right, so beautiful air sign energy is coming through for you guys with this Gemini energy as well as this fire sign Aries energy. So pay attention to that. Try to connect with it and see how you can find your outlet. All right, let's go ahead and get into the Star Sea Oracle card so we can see what messages you guys have from the spirit. 
What messages do you guys have in spirit? All right, so we have Star Family. You are a part of, of a team of souls. Call and support. All right, so this is the perfect time for you guys to call in support, call in your family, do some manifestations, um, prayer, connecting with your ancestors. We also have lost lands, soul memories, and gifts. You've done this before, so this is not your first rodeo, Pisces. This is not your first time feeling like, you know, this is your shortcomings or you're not doing enough to be better or you're not growing, you're not expanding. It's not your first rodeo and we can get past this. Wow, more confirmation. You are not alone. Isolation, physical connection and community. There's a community of people who support you. There's a community of people that love you. And as you continue to go on this healing journey and on your journey, staying on task, doing the things that you're needing to do. And when you feel like you're having shortcomings and this random person you don't even know just dms you you know on social media congratulating you lifting you up and helping you giving you resources that's confirmation that you're not in this alone there's a community of people whose souls are able to connect with you and see you all right i hope you guys enjoyed this reading pisces please give this video a thumbs up leave comments down below subscribe hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload and i'll see you guys in my next one